been a heck of a morning already. Let's get some tools. You coming, Crusoe? Yeah. Come on then. Take the camera. Yeah. Okay, you know, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Righto. All right. Well, actually, Crusoe, I think there's probably quite a lot to do out here, isn't there? Um, when we first built the chicken coop, we were in a real hurry to build something, get something up, because um, we had the chickens coming. And then, of course, the tiny house was half finished and the greenhouse needed building. And then we were down on the lawn doing the deck and we were doing all sorts of other things. And kind of the chicken coop just got put a little bit on a back burner. Um, it's really time now to fix it and make it more usable. I think first though, we're gonna to need to let the chickens out just to give them a bit of space. <laughs> Are you busy, Crusoe? He's got the drill. If they go on their day's adventures. We'll have the chicken coop nicely finished for you when you get back, Fifi. Fifi and friends. Right, let's do it. So I have basically just disturbed Budsa, I think, Sudsa, Dudsa, I'm not sure, you'll have to ask Tara what the names are, but I've just disturbed one of the chickens and I've got Fifi going a little bit loopy over here, Sudsa, I know Sudsa's the white one, Sudsa's going running around in circles just over there and the chicken that I disturbed is over there. Everybody okay now? Almost okay. Right, let's get this job done as quickly as possible so she can come back and lay her eggs. All right, next job is just to shorten this door, make it a bit easier to uh, back. 
says. That shouldn't be such a big job either. a better door. Sometimes when you build things to start off with, it's not quite exactly what you planned, you know. Um, it takes a little bit more thinking about, or well, you have to revisit an idea to, to get it smack on and Chicken Coop's one of those projects that we've re revisited a few times with ideas about how best to do it. Anyway, I know the chickens really like it in there. I see them every evening when I come and close up the, the coop. They're always sat on their perches. Um, it, you know, those three, three hens and the rooster, they are definitely best friends. They stick around together all day long when they're wandering around the farm you know they go to bed together most evenings now especially now it's getting darker in the evenings i'll come and i'll put them to bed but they're already in bed all snuggled up together so anyway one of those things that every homestead kind of needs is a chicken coop and a bunch of chickens and when i first got them i wasn't really that that bothered it was a bit of a tara project but now i I can honestly say I really, really enjoy having chickens around. All right, okay, I'm gonna need some um, slightly longer screws, I think. And then there's some wood that we're using at the moment. What's that, buddy? I'm just gonna go down to the lawnmower to pick up some pieces of wood. And then I'll bring them back up here, we can carry on. Yeah, chicken poo. Um, so the wood that I'm using for shingles down on the deck, outside deck. Um, I think that would be perfect just to finish off the roof here. Um, and I'm gonna need some longer screws. So I'll go and pick up a few bits and pieces, bring them back and we should be ready to go again. Nice like pieces of shingles. Shouldn't be long before we're back down here, finishing off this project, maybe a couple of episodes, next episode, hopefully anyway, you know. Such a shame to leave such a cool project unfinished. But I'm looking forward to doing the roof. I've got some good ideas for that. Uh, anyway, like I say, won't be long. Hey love, do you want to know the best news ever? What's that? That doesn't need any installation. I love it already. Thanks once again to Water Drop for sponsoring another one of our videos. This right here is the Water Drop Reverse Osmosis Hot and Cold Water Dispenser A1. Do you know, I absolutely love working in this industry. We get to test out all of these really fab gadgets helping us go off grid. There we go, I think that's found its home. Looks good there, doesn't it? So if you're new to Waterdrop, we've been using their G3 reverse osmosis system for about eight months now. And we're a huge fan of these filters and how simple they are to change, to maintain, and the whole process is just really reassuring and we love it. Now, if you're interested in the A1 reverse osmosis hot cold water dispenser that we're looking at right now, all the links you need are in our description. Right, we've got an assistant for installation, the man who knows everything. He's a plastic. Let me take the plastic. Done. Well done, Crusoe. That's exactly <laughs> where it goes. I've been told fitting them is as easy as child's play. So, ready to go. This is the container. It's just come out the back. So, let's just fill it up. Okay, that slides in there. That was easy. There That's go. it. Come in. <gasps> 
So while this is doing this, let me tell you about what makes the A1 filter system so special. First of all, is this OLED smart touch screen control panel, which tells you things like your filter lifespans, the water temperature and water levels. So you can see everything you need to know right here on your front screen. It's also the only filter of its type, which has refrigerator grade compressors within it. So it produces cold water a lot faster than its competitors. It has a six stage deep filtration system, which means that all of your large particles, rust, sediment, chlorine, bad smells and just nasty bits and bobs are taken out of your water. So you can reduce the need for any bottled water and safely drink the water from this lovely filter, hot or cold, at your fingertips whenever you like. So if this is something that would fit into your own lives and you want to bag yourself your very own water drop A1 reverse osmosis hot cold water dispenser, the links are in our description, which are just below the video. And we're also pinning a comment so they'll be super easy to find. Just head on down and click the link. And remember, even if you just want to check it out for now and you're not ready to make a purchase by clicking on the links you really help to support our channel so thank you so much for checking it out and once again a huge thanks to Waterdrop for sponsoring another one of our episodes we love working with you guys the veggie garden is winding down for the year i think we've got the last of the tomatoes to pick this morning and there's a lot of them um the last of the peppers the butternut is ready to come off. So I thought I'd take the boys up, go and get that job done. It's amazing to think back at everything that we've got out of that little patch of land this year. <laughs> Are you hopping, Sawyer? So it's just discovering this backpack, which we've had so many adventures with um, Crusoe in, all the way around the States, Africa. So it's amazing to have it back and to have Sawyer in it and enjoying it. Um, but yeah. It's incredible to think back at everything that we've got off our land this year. And it's really exciting to think ahead to everything we're going to do next year. Joao and I keep having conversations about where we're going to plant stuff, how we're going to do things differently, how we're going to place things a little bit differently with what we've learned this year. And I'm excited because I think as the years roll by, it's just going to become more and more, I don't know, exciting and substantial and all the rest of it. But for now, let me show you where we're at with the veg garden. So... This is what it looks like. Almost all gone. So this is where the kidney beans were. We've harvested and threshed those. They're in storage in the freezer. We've got a line of sweet potatoes there. We've got a field of sweet potatoes at the back that still need to be lifted. And a couple of watermelons that need to be picked. This is what our tomatoes look like. Everything's looking a bit bedraggled and kind of, I don't know, coming to the end. But we do have lots of cherry tomatoes to come off today. A few big tomatoes. My peppers, sadly, are looking a bit hot and bothered, but we've got a few red peppers, um, which I'll pick now because they, they, you know, they go red once you've picked them. That plant, although fell over, is still producing loads. Um, this row of tomatoes, after thinking it wasn't going to do anything, has done loads. That's where the white beans were that we threshed, and we're currently preparing that field for the winter crops that are going to go in. More about that soon. And, well, that's pretty much it. Done for the year. The runner bean row has gone. There's the poles ready for next year. We'll put those into storage in the knot garage. And there's a few more projects to do around here, um, which we'll get stuck into shortly. One of which will be sorting out the compost. So we've been bringing everything up here that's going to go into the compost. And basically the plan, I think, is to empty my very rudimentary bins, which I made last year and just make an enormous compost heap and over the next few weeks and months as the autumn starts to draw in we'll be collecting all the leaves that fall off the, the trees bringing them up here and making an enormous compost heap that we're going to tend to and look after over the winter because the plan is to then put it over the entire field and then when the tractor comes it'll turn it all in to the ground um, and just nourish the soil again so that once we plant for next year, everything's ready. That is ready, buddy. Do you want to pick it? Got some beautiful butternut here. Check this out. Are you going to pick it, bud? Oh, yummy. Look at that. Is it ready? Let's check. Oh, I've got dots here. Where? Up here. Oh, ants eating it. Yeah. Okay, you going to pick it? No. Come on. Let's see happening there there's just some ants hiding under it look at that 
Hey, aren't we lucky? Oh, he's a bit tricky to pick, isn't he? Yeah. Is that me? This is exceptionally hard to do with one hand, I'll be honest. Okay, pull. Can you manage? Oh, he's hard, isn't he? Gosh, the strength of these things is quite remarkable. He's really spiky. They're really spiky. I'm going to turn that one over there. You want to try that one over there? Yeah. That one looks might be a bit easier, the smaller one. Yeah. Can you manage? There's a big knife. A big knife. Yeah. Okay. Okay, how many have we got? One. Oh, there's one by the greenhouse. Yeah, there's one by the greenhouse, isn't there? So we think we've got four, haven't we? Four big butternuts. Yeah, I know, another one. That's so cool, isn't it? Okay, we'll get a knife and we'll come and cut them. The next thing I'd like to do is get the greenhouse sorted out. Just kind of cut back all of these weeds and stuff, clean it up and get that ready for next year. Re cover get the path re-emerged it's amazing how like i don't know all this stuff seemed so important when we were kind of setting it all up and then i don't know time passes you get busy you let things slide and then they seem overwhelming to get on top of again so lesson learned for next year is to do things as it's happening rather than wait for it to get to the point where it's over an overwhelming task um and then i'll set the greenhouse up for storage of seeds um, in jars and things so that over the winter they stay nice and sealed away from weevils and away from damp. Um, are you getting figs? Is it ready? No, those are not ready, sweetie. The ones that are a bit purple look like this one. Yeah, this is ready. I'll put it down. Oh, gently with the tree though. Yum, yum. Okay. You're going to get a knife. I don't think you are, Crusoe. Let mommy come and get it for you. Okay. Anyway, let me stop talking and get on with harvesting what's left in here. And I'll show you what we got by the end of it. Look at that, isn't it amazing? Yeah, is that your watermelon? Should we go see if there's any other ones ripe? Yeah. See, we got to look and see if the stalks are dry. I think, I, I saw one, that if this little thingy there is dry, then it means it's ready, but I think we could wait a little bit longer with that one, see until the stalk gets dry. That's a good sign. This one as well. It's although, see this little frond is dry, which often means that they're just about good to go. Oh, that one. Yeah, yum, yum. So one, two, should be another big one over here. Where? Yeah, look. Oh, this one's ready, Crusoe. I'm picking 
His stuck is dry. Can mommy pick it? Yeah, Look at that. <laughs> That's such a cool moment because we weren't sure if we'd be able to grow watermelons. And well, we really wanted to try. And this is our third, fourth. I think we're getting at least five decent watermelons off of this patch. That's pretty good going, buddy, isn't it? Yeah. Also, some little rogue baby butternuts. I wonder if they're going to get any bigger. I don't think they will. Cute, though. Ah, it's been a good year. Well done, bud. Right, I think get those tomatoes into the fridge and then tomorrow figure out what on earth to do with them. Because there's really a lot. Should we go and taste some watermelon? No, I can't do that. No, 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 don't cut the tomato. Should we go and, um, should we go and taste some watermelon? Can you manage or is it a bit heavy? Um, you want me to carry it to keep it safe? Uh, no, this little one. Yeah, you carry the little one. Yeah, they're bigger. There you go. Try not to drop it, okay? Oh, oh. oh. that's a good start. Well done. They're bigger. That's all right for a day's work, isn't it? <laughs> Loads of cherry tomatoes, loads of peppers, a couple of watermelons, and of course, not forgetting the four butternut, but I've got to get a knife to get those out, so we'll do that in a second. What are we doing with this? I'm cut it. Cut it? Yeah. With my, like this? Yeah. How do we What cut do we need, buddy? Knife. A Shop. knife. Yeah. Right, let's get a knife, family. This is a huge moment. You're going to cut it? Yeah! No, look, you can run around on roofs, you can walk with bare feet, but you're not allowed to play with knives, just We do draw the line somewhere. We are drawing the line. Where do we cut it? Here? Yeah. Here. Here. Yeah. Here. Oh, I'm so excited. Big moment. <laughs> it's green inside. It's chick. Oh! You think Sawyer wants a bit too? Was it, it good, buddy? Oh, I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some of that, Sawyer? Do you want some more of it, my boy? Lucky you. Mm -hmm. What about you, Mum? Yes, you? please. Oh man, that looks amazing. It certainly is. Look at that. Red, red, Look at red. This. Yum. Okay, come on, hook us up. Um, is that the best watermelon you've ever eaten, buddy? Oh man, come on. Mum's just getting left out here. Mm. Work. Oh, I give that a six out of ten. Mm. Not as sweet as it could be, is it? Mm -mm. Anyway, it's not stopping the void. Mmm, yum. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. It's probably the most disgusting thing to watch people eat. It's really well, noisy. I would say that's fairly average watermelon. It's very watery. It's yeah. just not very sweet. It's not very sweet. It could be sweeter. I wonder why that is. I'm going to have to ask you out. Look at your void on your back. It's done. Basically eating it. Gnawed the whole lot. <laughs> that is very definitely a newbie. Daddy, You know, funny old world, isn't it? Sometimes life just gets so busy that you just don't have the time to finish the things that you started that really don't take too long to do. You know, they just don't. 
this will maybe be a half a day's work to finish that roof off and and what have you it's good timing because it's starting to get cold in the nights now you know i say cold 13 14 degrees centigrade we've literally in the space of a couple of weeks gone from super hot 40 degrees centigrade so that the lawn burns and everything's uh, struggling wilting a little bit uh, chilly old evenings now there we go that's all open cleaner now enjoying this job this morning that's nice isn't it you know especially for a job that i was like i don't really want to go anywhere near it it's when you've got to slow down a little bit jobs like this take on a different kind of you know, i haven't really built anything for ages when you, when you haven't been building just to come out and, and make something is kind of well it feels good to be to be building something to be making something even if it's not particularly um, not particularly hard work it still feels good to be doing it so um, so that's nice okay the next job is going to be just to finish this roof off um, originally the idea was to well the idea remains the same I guess I just want to put a piece of wood here and then have a lip that comes over the top so that the water flows away. This um, fabric has been doing a very, very good job of keeping the inside dry anyway. The tiles are almost there just to make it look nice. But, um, let's make it look nice, why not? You got the heart that is bigger than the sun You got the smile that is wider than the fun Whatever you imagine will come true Whatever you wish upon a star will do And there is only one thing you should really love It is your heart when it seems up above Hey you over there It's time to get up and make the world shine It's time to get back to feeling so fine Find the voice that was lost You got to find the sparkle in the frost You got to find the passion in the must You got to find the light in the dust